Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Rambo. I figured I'd better talk, and this one's pretty important. I did, I redid the skimmer just a wee bit. It was inspired by Ridge Crest logging. I seen the, what he done to it, and I was like, wow, that is so cool. It's on his Facebook page, or their Facebook page. I don't know actually who all runs it, but I just figured, you know, I'm sure it's a group, but... Uh, they come up with some pretty cool stuff. They actually redid a skitter. I don't know. I think it's a little different. I think it's not the same body because the pipe, the exhaust pipe is on the driver's side or passenger driver's, whatever side. It's the other side, opposite side. But it looks really amazing. They said they're going to let it out sometime. Don't know when. Apparently, probably when they get it fully finished. This way, you don't have to worry about people complaining about, well, why did you do that much work and didn't finish it? That that's, it happens a lot. And they don't really understand it. It takes a long time setting their piece and little pieces together to try to make them look okay decent. So, yeah. Anyway, basically what I did with this one is I fixed the front end. I put a little nose piece on the front. Not going in great detail because if he releases his, oh my gosh, it's going to blow everything away. But anyway, then I redid the tires. I took some tires off of another skitter. Cut the rims off of them. Then put the rims back in. Remapped them best I could. They ain't... They don't have like the black circles or centers for the screw part, but the nut is silver. It's all silver. It's good enough for, you know, whatever. <laughs> it works. It's okay. And then I then I took the cat tiger and switched it back around the tiger cat because I did that. I was just actually goofing off. I never really ex actually thought this skitter would take off like it did. You know, by being interested in it. Uh, didn't I redid the dirt just a little bit on there? That texture, that yellow, is just bad to try to map anything on. I did some paint. Anyway, the auto load works pretty well. There's some bugs work out of it. First one ever made. Hopefully other people picks up on it and starts working stuff out with it and get it working good for everything. But other than that, it works pretty good. It does take a lot of the time out of trying to load them up, but it does take the realistic out of the logging. So, But if the ones that do not want to do the realistic logging and have problems like I do with it, because, you know, like, this shit would be so much easier in real life, because it would be, you know, you're, you're there with controls you can actually can see what's going on you move your head just normal everything but uh yeah it's pretty cool hopefully they release theirs if they do we'll have a really good skitters it's really fun that we can all kind of like take each other's ideas and just make something happen with them it's really neat it does not bother me at all someone takes something and uh does other things with it like there's another person took the monster truck thing and i know people's been like re-uploading that and trying to make money off of it with, like share mods and stuff like that which I can kill those links real quick. But, uh, because I ain't the first time I dealt with share mods. A lot of times I don't give a shit. You know, like, I don't care because, you know, I've done, had my little fame off of it. My little short little bit of fame. Didn't get a lot of views, but I don't care. But, uh, like, well, seen another person took the whole setup and put Dodge bodies on it, Ford bodies, and everything else. I'm going to come up with a Ford truck. They said they was, but they can bring theirs out, but I'm going to bring mine out. It's going to be probably like a, a week or two maybe I don't know we'll see how fast I get around to it depends how much I want to sit there and mess around with it it's pretty cool I asked someone if they could put it in uh, spin tires but I don't know I doubt it's gonna happen anytime you want anything kind of cool it's really hard to get it anybody to put it in a game for you but uh yeah because a lot of times it's really complicated like they want it really perfect and it's just almost if you're not really feeling that vehicle or truck to do it then you know it's like really hard for you to self to be pushed because you're not like we're not making millions or nothing or making thousands of dollars off of this and uh youtube's kind of took a funky hit i'll talk about that later on but uh yeah i don't know uh i just want to update everybody on that because i didn't talk in my last few videos i don't really talk it i'm not really going to talk in them because there's really not ex nothing explained you can just picture and imagine everything and then you can see how it goes but anyway, the link will be down in the description. Thanks, guys, for watching. Spread it around, share, whatever. Uh, enjoy the mod. I will update it later. I did not go through and clean the files out. Like, I still have the tech, the Tigers i3D files in there. I still have the old dirt particle texture things. I don't even know what I was saying when I put that in there. Thought it looked good at the time. <laughs> I was wrong. And if you want to know how to map dirt, it's not perfect, but it does work. I've been using it. It's mine. I had to go back to, you know, it works pretty good for paint.net. You can make your own paint brushes and stuff like that. If you guys want to know how to do that, if you can't find a video on it, which is pretty simple, I can kind of show you how to do that. 
because there's not there's only like one paintbrush and paint net and it's just like just like a little dot and that's all but you can add more paintbrushes and stuff to it it's pretty neat but I'll put the links down in the description for the the tutorial on dirting dirt mapping and the link for this mod and I have a T800 that auto loads too there's a lot of stuff you could actually probably do with this auto load thing there's another truck I'm gonna set and try to fix up unless someone beats me to it but yeah anyway you can see right there it's really hard to pick up trees that has been cut off at 20 because I have it set for like 40 I think really big and have it set where you can put limb you know pick up limbs I think before you couldn't pick up limbs with it so yeah. here's the dirt textures kind of change it around I only mess with the cab a little bit I don't plan on ever putting glass in it I like the old style look I like it's just more beefier you know one thing, real life, you're gonna be unless you got cages all over it. All it takes is one stick to push it. And actually, it won't probably pop the window, like bust the window, but it will just push it all the way out of the rubber ceiling and everything. It had that happen one time when I pushing trees and making a little path with backhoe. But anyway, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.